Oh man, shout out to Stunning Growth, man, for acknowledging this man right here. <laughs> if you know, you know. This man right here is responsible for us having arguably one of the littest summers. <laughs> one of the littest summers. I can't even, I can't really explain it. You just had to be there to understand. If you from my city, you know that summer when this song came out. Shit was just different, bro. You already know. My projects, if you ain't from my projects, my projects be gon' come to my projects if you ain't in my projects. Come on, man. We gotta do the rise and fall of Cuckoo Cow. <laughs> bro, it's just so funny to say this nigga name now, bro. Oh, man. He's respected in the city. He's definitely respected in the city, bro. Man. He was supposed to be the one, man. We was supposed to, he was supposed to put us on, dog. He was supposed to put us on, dog. He was supposed to put us on the map for real. He didn't. He, man. Shout out to Cuckoo Cow, though. Shout out to Cuckoo Cow. Man, you was supposed to put us on, man. You supposed to hold it down for the city, bro. My projects big, gon' come to my projects If you ain't in my projects My projects big, gon' come to my projects If you ain't in my projects <laughs> Come on, man Come on, man Oh, man Let's get into this though. This is about my boy study growth. Without further ado, let's check this out, man. Well, I was I was partying, you know. Uh, cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I say his name, I just bust out laughing, bro. I can't explain it, bro. Uh, Calvin Bellamy, aka Cuckoo Cow, cuckoo born July cow. 1970. <laughs> Today's feature is the story oh, of how rapper man. Cuckoo Cow did Put everything he the could city, to man. sabotage his own crazy. rap career. And maybe even rappers from Milwaukee in general to follow. Oh, also man. highlighting the three reasons he may have had the shortest reign in the history of chart topping rappers. Fact. For those not familiar with Cuckoo Cow, back in 2001, he had the hottest rap song in the country with his hit My Projects, My that projects. also sold the most of any Milwaukee rapper ever, selling over a million copies to date worldwide. I still remember the impact that song had playing on radio stations globally and salute to Denny Osifo for reminding me of this perfect example of stunted growth. On September 18th, a week after 9-11, Cuckoo Cow dropped the most important album to ever come out of Milwaukee. As you can guess, the Midwest city was never known for the music, specifically rap music, and had no experience topping any charts until Cuckoo Cow did it with his lead single. Although it's considered a minor hit record, peaking at just 81 on the Hot 100, hip hop showed its love by that song reaching number one even though Jay-Z had just dropped the classic and my personal favorite Jay album, The Blueprint, a week oh, yeah, prior. Yeah, yeah. This was a standout moment for Milwaukee and all small cities not focused on in rap music at the time, giving us a glimpse into the hip hop scene out there and what else it had to offer the culture. The answer would be not much, and a lot of it had to do with Cal not capitalizing on the success of his second album and first hit single, placing him in a position longevity couldn't find him. The Milwaukee rap scene completely went cold after, and so did Cuckoo Cal's music career. But for eight weeks beginning one of hip-hop's golden eras, the early 2000s, Milwaukee was on the map, even if the country was distracted by the events of 9-11 or the release of the hottest rapper in the game at the time, Six and Classic Album. Around that time, it seemed all the big cities had an anthem repping where they're from, Petey right. Pablo raise up putting on for the Carolinas. Man, Petey Pablo is a cuckoo cow ripoff, bro. Let's just keep it real, bro. Let's just keep it real, bruh. 
Petey Pablo is a rip-off cuckoo cow. I stand on it, I stand by it. If Cuckoo Cow wasn't on that shit, Petey Pablo would be a distant memory right now. But Petey Pablo, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Lips, Virginia, Welcome to Atlanta, Jermaine Dupri and Ludacris, and a ton more, but none bigger at the time than my projects, which the entire city embraced. But then Cal struggled with all the trappings of a chart-topping rapper and never seen the success of that song again. He was on the road to being one of the biggest rappers in the Midwest of his era, then completely disappeared from the scene and became a truck driver. What happened? Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth Music. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Cuckoo Cow was a rapper from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, but moved around a lot due to being an army brat, even spending time in Germany. He moved to Milwaukee around 12 years old. By that time, he had been dabbling in making mixtapes and also getting involved in the streets. He began releasing singles like Why They Call Him Crazy and initially signed a deal with Infinite Recordings. In 1999, at 29 years old, he released his debut album Walking Dead, gaining interest from major labels and not long after, signing a five-album deal with Tommy Boy Records. Cal was set to release his sophomore album third quarter 2001 following the rise and peak of its lead single My Projects My released projects. May that year. All summer it was the anthem and Cal lived like a superstar in his hometown but not for long. Stunt number one, drug use. I was missing shows and interviews was, was really the, the turning point. What's that term? And you niggas money! Well, that's emphatically true in the story of how <laughs> Cuckoo Cow fell off. At least the first part of it. With success obviously comes money, and with money comes many side-ons like women, opportunity, more friends, drugs, and even fame. For a person not experienced with those things prior to having success and eventually money can do more damage than actually help the person. Right. And help is exactly what Cal needed around the end of 2001 beginning 2002. With no blueprint set before him and the first from his city to put on national and even globally like he did, Cal's instincts told him to just enjoy the fruits of his labor because either there's much more to come or it's all gonna be over soon, so why not? Cal chose to look at it through the lens, I'll just enjoy my time now, and whatever happens, happens. He got involved using cocaine and drinking heavily, causing him to miss out on opportunities because he was too high or drunk to wake up and attend things like promotional photo shoots, radio interviews, and even some shows Cal would often miss. This in itself could be a career killer because how else do you expect to become a bigger entertainer? You have to show up and entertain. Whether a radio interview, TV shows like Rap City and MTV, or actual shows he was scheduled to perform. I just saw something. This <laughs> goddamn Milwaukee Mall. Uh, hey, don't ever go to this motherfucking mall in your motherfucking life. Don't you ever. Go to the fucking Milwaukee Mall, nigga. That is the swap meet, nigga. We do not go there, nigga. Only, only the ratchetest of the ratchet go to this motherfucking mall. We do not go to this mall. We do not fuck with this mall. We do not. We do not care. We do not go to this motherfucking mall. fucking alarm clock going off that's my alarm clock to wake me up in in the event that i may oversleep all right so um yeah we don't go to this mall we go to south ridge you're gonna go to south ridge uh and what's the other one? Uh, Menominee Falls. No, is it Menominee Falls? Menominee Falls, I believe. Uh, Brookfield. That's it. 
I mean, they rebuilding the grand, but niggas don't really fuck with the grand like that. I mean, I used to fuck with the Grand like that because of all the uh, shoe stores they had in there. Like, they foot action used to go crazy, bro. They, they foot action used to actually have a whole bunch of shoes that you actually wanted. That's the only reason why you would go in there and just go to foot action or the foot locker because it was only two stores, like, worth going in there for. But then after that, you had to dip. You couldn't just go. You couldn't just be at the Grand just shopping now. You couldn't just do all that. Like, nah, nigga. <laughs> Oh man, but I, yeah, but I would fall. Wait, is it Monomany for I got it, I, bro. I ain't been in the city for two years. Now I already forgot the malls, bro. I didn't already forgot the malls. I've been living in Milwaukee for 26, 27 fucking years, and now I've been removed for two years now, and I don't even remember the fucking malls. That's crazy, bro. But anyway, so don't go to this goddamn mall unless you. Unless you, unless you like going, unless you are the ratchetest of the ratchetest, you know, you got to be the ghetto of the ghettoist to go to the Milwaukee Mall, dude. Eh, bro, don't go in there. Shows like Rap City and MTV oh, were actual man. shows he was scheduled to perform, but often was a no-show, which caused stations to stop playing his record. He was too busy aiding an addiction that crept up on him from his overuse of the drug he was actually trying to sell. To his defense, it was difficult to notice he was throwing his career away because the money was still coming in on time due to his hit single and moderately successful album, along with being on tour and the shows he did show up to. Then his co-producers from My Projects were arrested on federal charges for running a cocaine ring and police suspected Cal was involved. He became even more recluse along with using even more to the point he burned his bottom lip smoking. Without him taking advantage of promotional opportunities, he wasn't able to grow his fan base more than what his hit song got him. He eventually went to rehab, missing more valuable time that could have been put into his career. Stunt number two, too many prison stints. Along with the drug use and not being prepared for promo opportunities like the time he visited WKKVFM and forgot the lyrics to his own song live on air, Cuckoo Cow was also shooting himself in the foot as far as going to jail too often in the following years after the success of his hit song and second album. He was charged several times for disorderly conduct or driving with a revoked license. In 2004, he missed a scheduled performance at Milwaukee's African World Festival while he spent the night in jail over an outstanding warrant. He'd drive without a valid license while intoxicated and be pulled over doing more jail time but none compared to the four months he did for cocaine possession in 2006. By then, Cal had no rap career to speak of just five years after dropping his most important song and album that changed his life and could have changed the path for Milwaukee rappers. But like Cal himself said, he could have had two Bentleys parked outside of a trap house and still feel right at home. He loved the streets, but only thing the streets did for him was give him a drug addiction that took over his life and career and also sent him to prison multiple times in his prime. It's the one thing rappers have always struggled with, knowing when to leave the place you're the biggest target for everything, home. As a star rapper, who do you think the dealers want to sell to? Who do you think the cops arrest more? A rapper with newfound money and fame. Staying in the streets, Cal really had no chance, but it was his decision, and eventually he had to live with- Not if you know how to move though. I mean, if you know how to move, I mean, you could stay in your hometown. There's nothing wrong with staying. I've never been the proponent of saying, oh, leave leave your city. The only reason why I left is because it just started getting bad up there. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't want to deal with it. But if I had the money and I knew how to move, I could definitely, I could have definitely stayed up, up in Milwaukee. I would have never moved, but I moved only because I don't have the money. I don't have the resources. I'm not finna get caught up in the bullshit. So when everything goes south up there, I ain't nowhere near it. I'm, I'm in a red state, so I'll be good. I'm, I'll be good because you know red states don't play that. So I'm fine being in a red state. I'd rather be in a red state than a blue state any day. Shit, just because the police don't play, and I can just. 
All I got to do is just go to work, handle my business, and yeah. Them stunning his growth. Stun number three, the Tommy Boy deal. Tommy Boy Records was an up-and-coming label in the 80s and early 90s, but caught its stride around the mid to late 90s after signing notable artists to the label like Queen Latifah, De La Soul, Coolio, Naughty by Nature, and more. In the early 2000s, as mentioned, they signed Cuckoo Cow and milked him for his hit single and second album right before they dissolved in 2002, becoming independent again after their relationship with Warner Brothers. Cal no longer had a major label machine behind him and had to go back to local Infinite Records to release his third album Still Walkin'. That album peaked at 30 on the top R&B and hip hop charts, but none of the singles charted or had the success of My Projects. Cuckoo Cal was officially a one-hit wonder. A fourth album was released in 2004, but by then, no one knew or remembered Cuckoo Cow outside his local neighborhood and rap scene in Milwaukee. Cow never got to release his five albums under Tommy Boy like they promise, partially because he wasn't in the mental space to do the work it takes to make and promote an album, and also Tommy Boy going indie at the wrong time. After 2004, Cuckoo Cow disappeared completely from rap, mainly due to a prison sentence in 06 and being too busy getting his addiction under control. He'd later get his CDL license and began driving trucks across the country. All in all, Milwaukee will always have the song My Projects, and Cal can always say he had a hit rap song, but to lose almost everything for a drug and alcohol addiction is even more sad. Yeah. He had something special, opportunity, but let it all go to waste. He was supposed to carry the Midwest on his back, but for these reasons, his growth was stunted. Salute, much respect, it's your boy JC Stunner Growth Music, and I'm out. Not just about my life, it's like more so giving youngsters awareness about the street life and drugs and alcohol and so forth. Yeah, shout out to Cuckoo Cow, man. I, every time I say his name, I just buzz. A, a giggle just comes out, man. It's not. It's not at him though. It's just, damn. <laughs> Shout out to Cuckoo Cow, man. But anyways, though, that's just go about do it for this one. Yeah, man. We had our own. We had our own. Our own rapper that could have went places, but. Uh, the city could have. What? What? What could have been? What the city could have been if Cuckoo Cow didn't have all these problems going on with him at the time who knows but anyways so that's just gonna about do it for this one i will see you on the next video shout out to the city shout out to the 414 that's all i know uh i miss y'all niggas but i don't miss y'all niggas <laughs> i'm at peace down here i get to wake up every morning not going outside wondering who going to run me over, who going to hit my car, who 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 going to try to jack me for my car. Like, I ain't got to deal with that shit. Then it, I, you know what I'm saying? Just going to places and motherfuckers just give you PTSD and anxiety and shit. It's like, here, I'm, I'm at peace. I can walk around freely. Ain't nobody trying to run you over. Ain't nobody trying to hit your car going 80 miles down the fucking street. You know what I'm saying? It's, ain't nobody trying to pull up out the car and jack you. Like I said, I live in a red state, so... I'd, I'd rather be in a red state than a blue state right now. When when Milwaukee get their police situation handled and they can uh, start cracking down on these people and start sending people to jail and shit like that and uh, get some um, control over the city, then that'll be the day I move back. But until then, the city is just in ruins right now, and I don't I don't want to be a part of that. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video to the peace out.